We know that many questions arise when you're accepted into the university. Your first important step is to get your visa. We want to share with you some advice on how to prepare for your visa interview. So make sure you have all the information regarding the school and major you're applying for. The interview questions include, but are not limited to, why do you intend to study in the US? Why did you choose UF? How did you find out about UF? What major will you be studying and how does it relate to your background? For students who are going to take IOP, why are you choosing to study English overseas instead of studying in your country? What courses are you going to take? Who is your financial sponsor? In other words, who is going to pay the expense? And what do you plan to do after you graduate? You should have all of the documents ready on the interview day. We suggest putting everything in a photo and having a tag on each of the papers. This will make it easier to look for the relevant document. Make your appointment for your visa interview as soon as possible after receiving your I-20 and paying the I-901 service fee, but no earlier than 120 days before your program start date. When you come for your appointment, a consular official will electronically scan your fingerprint. You must bring the following documentation to the interview. Form I-20 issued by a DSO at the school where you wish to enroll. Printed form DS-160, online non-immigrant visa application, confirmation page. Passport valid for at least six months after you plan to enter the United States. 2 inch by 2 inch photo of yourself. Receipt for your DS-160 visa application fee payment. And receipt for your I-901 CVS fee payment. If you cannot get an appointment and the time is getting close to the start of your study, you can ask for an expedite appointment. Everyone has 5 to 10 minutes for the interview, therefore you need to make the most out of it. If you can speak in English, go ahead. Speaking English will leave a good impression to the officer. Be confident, be precise, be logical and always have a smile on your face. You will need to establish that you have good intentions to come study in the U.S. Make sure you explain your ties to your home country and what your plans are after you study at UF. You will need to demonstrate that your plans are to go back home to your home country. You will need to answer honestly why your I-20 is an English IELP I-20. You will also need to explain and show proof of how you intend to pay for the first year at UF and how you plan to pay for the remainder. Whether it comes from your parents' business, an uncle that is helping you to support your cause, whatever it might be, you need to be able to speak about it. This is an important factor and the visa officer must feel comfortable knowing where the money is coming from. For the specific financial documents needed, you will need to check www.usembassy.gov for your location and what the embassy wants you to bring. Do not memorize a speech. They want to have an intelligent conversation with you about your motivation, what interests you to study abroad, and why you want to study at UF. You can go ahead and book your flight tickets and inform the university of your attendance. The earliest entry day is mentioned on the I-20, so make sure this date matches your flight. Make copies of all your documents and put it in a different place just in case. Think about how much money in cash you're going to bring. Any amount that is greater than $10,000 needs to be reported in customs. If you are denied, you may reapply and there is no specific time you need to wait to do this. However, you need to make sure your circumstances are different and something should have changed. You can reapply for your visa as many times as you like. If you want further advising, you may visit the Education USA Advising Center in your country. You can find it on educationusa.state.gov find advising center or email us at international at finley.edu. We are always happy to help. So thank you for your time and good luck in your visa interview. We hope to have you here soon.